You just got it turned on. Starting to hear those pellets drop. Let's get that smoke rolling. All right, so I'm making jerky for a friend of mine that I work with. Um, he helped me move my bar, or when I purchased the barbecue, he helped me pick it up from the store. He's helped me with a lot of different things. And so I offered to make him some jerky. So what I have here is six pounds of London broils. It's been thinly sliced. And he picked up a couple of seasonings that he wanted to try. Um, one was just a mild all-purpose rub. And then we got the Mabel barbecue rub from Grillmates. We're gonna, I seasoned them last night, wrap them up and let them uh, marinate overnight. And once this gets up to temperature, which we're getting right about there, we will be ready to start adding some meat and let it cook. All right. So for smoking, um, the pit boss defaults to P4, which is about 180 degrees. Um, I, when I do jerky, I usually have it set, um, between 180, 190-ish. I'm not that concerned as long as the inside of the smoker stays fairly consistent. Um, I do open it up a couple times to check on it throughout the cooks. I use typically about an hour and a half in, and so I can flip the meat, and then, uh, at three hours to check it. And then every 45 minutes or so after that until it gets to the proper doneness all right so we're going to go ahead and start adding some meat to the grill all right the meat is in um here we go we'll get a nice good look at that so it is a little bit more crowded than i would normally like to have it on the grill um we'll fix that when we uh, check on it a little bit as it dehydrates and dries out a little bit the meat will shrink and we'll be able to space them out a little bit um, so I've closed up the lid and we'll let it sit for about an hour and a half and see where we're at after that. All first right. came back outside to check on my smoker, make sure the temperatures are staying consistent. Um, looks like they've dropped a little bit, but that's normal. Um, with the Pit Boss, so my Pit Boss is a Pit Boss XL. It's commonly found at uh, Walmart for yeah. roughly um five hundred dollars uh sometimes you can find them on sale for much less um i've cooked on this one a couple times for actual cooking i've done a couple batches of jerky on it and so far i've been really happy with it so it does have a couple of flaws that i found uh and in speaking with other people that have the same model or similar models it seems to be consistent with the larger pit bosses. So, with the larger pit bosses, the way the inside is shaped, it, there's a gap that allows the heat to escape through and it doesn't read the temperatures properly. And it doesn't heat the chamber properly. Uh, I've modded this and added in a plate to block that gap. And this seems to have helped um, the other thing I found is that the Pit Boss has a small shelf on the side. I really wanted a, a shelf on the front so that I can set my food and spices and tools and everything else I need on the front of the grill in front of me. Um, but there wasn't an option for the Pit Boss to have that. So I made my own. Um, so here we go. I am a Cowboys fan, um, and I, this is actually my first cook using my new shelf. I've been told that, you know, I should have put a different team on here because it'll drop anything I put on there. And uh, luckily I set my, my jerky on there today, and it didn't fumble it. So I'm happy. Um, so I use these collapsible uh, hinges on the underside. Unlock that one this one and it locks down in place otherwise we can lock it up and it's nice and sturdy uh, that was a huge um, mod for me to be able to do because I really needed the extra shelf space uh, the hinges I got off of Amazon uh, they were about $20 for the pair 
um, according to Amazon's ad, uh, they will support up to 300 pounds. I don't see my ever putting 300 pounds worth of anything on there, but you know, it's nice to know the brackets are going to hold up with my uh, my shelf, with the food, and anything else I might put on it. Um, the actual shelf. I made from a stair tread. I picked it up at Home Depot. Uh, it's red oak. Uh, the options at Home Depot are either red oak or pine. Pine doesn't uh, stain real well. So I chose the red oak. I did, uh, I've got a, uh, a cameo silhouette, um, like a scrapbooking machine. So I used that to cut out the vinyl logo for the top of it. And so what I did was I laid the vinyl down, stained over the top of it, wiped the stain off, and then pulled my vinyl back up, and then hit it with some a couple coats of clear, and now we have this awesome logo embedded in the stain. I'm really happy with the way it came out. Everybody, like I said, everybody's got opinions on teams, and well, we can't all be good. So, anyways, um, let's let this go I think I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit uh, because it's getting a little low so I think I'm gonna knock this down to a p4 which should increase the temperature uh, a little bit it's gonna increase the speed the pellets go into the hopper and should increase our temperatures a little bit all right so we'll see you in a little bit all right so here we are about uh, an hour and a half in let's take a look oh look at that that is looking good so it looks like it might have a little bit of a hot spot on the on the right side there um, because that stuff's looking pretty well done far sooner than anything else but let's go ahead and flip it over and we'll check back in on it in a little bit all right so it's time to check our jerky we're about three hours in let's see what it looks like Ooh, look at that that is looking good so some of these pieces are pretty done um, so we're gonna test it. But I think those pieces there are pretty much done. That looks pretty done. But the real, real way to find out is with the brake test. So we're gonna take a piece of this. Let's take this little one here. We're gonna bend it. See how those fibers just bend and pull apart? That one there is pretty close to being done. But it's still a little wet. So let's leave it on there a little bit longer. We're just gonna flip them again and we'll get it going we'll check on it again here in about 45 minutes all right all right so i'm checking on the jerky again and some of the pieces that in that first when i checked it last were either very very well done or way overcooked there were some really good pieces that uh were at the right doneness so i decided to pull most of those ones off uh, and left some of the ones that were not as well done. So here we are, we have, um, I believe most of these are the mild rub, uh, except for maybe this one here. Um, but, I mean, these are looking really good. Now, I did not cut these. Normally, I cut my own London broil. Um, these ones here, my friend picked up the London broil. He had the grocery store cut it and so they cut it into these real um big wide pieces but you look at some of this and these pieces are very very thin much much thinner than what i would have done so these pieces here i mean those are probably done so i'll go i'll pull those off that one's a bit thicker that's a thick piece they're just very inconsistent with their thicknesses which is why I prefer to do it myself just a, my own personal preference um, but most of these pieces I'm gonna pull them off and let them cool off and we'll see how they are uh, so when you could pull these off um, you pull them off and then let them uh, dry out just a little bit naturally cool them off and you're also gonna pat them down to remove any excess moisture from the outside uh, that's going to help keep them longer they're not going to uh, spoil as soon 
and you probably still want to put them in the mic or in the refrigerator uh, when you're not eating them um, keep them in there um, unless you have like the uh, the moisture packets and or silica packets and that kind of stuff all right all right it's getting a little warm out here it's supposed to be about 100 degrees right now um, from where the smoker and everything it's getting hot have to shut off the shirt all right, so our jerky is done. We uh, end up pulling the last of it. Look at that. Came out beautiful. So this was the, um, I guess it's just like a mild, like original type of flavor. Not very peppery. Um, I like a, a nice spicy peppery flavor. But this one here, it is good. Um, but that is the reward of, you know, four to five hours worth of, uh, smoking on the pit boss all right if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment i'll try to answer thanks